He had designed a large office area with 60 reinforced concrete columns, hollow on the inside and 6.5 meters high. Their base would taper to a diameter of just 22 centimeters. Their tops would spread out to cover the building. A technical feat that seemed unrealistic and even dangerous to the commission's engineers who were determined to rein in the 70-year-old architect's flights of fancy. They had demanded a full tail skest. The column had to bear a six-ton weight at its summit, but they would only be reassured if it could support twice that. Hib Johnson, who commissioned the project, had already spent a great deal of money. His credibility and that of his architect were at stake. Six tons, 12 tons, the column held up. A coup de théâtre. The architect ordered more weight to be added, more and more. Cut to the quick by the wariness of the technicians who had doubted his talent, he didn't want to leave it at that. The column was now bearing 60 tons on its crown. They say that the old man struck it with his cane and that the whole thing collapsed at last. Footage doesn't confirm this feat, but that doesn't matter. The technique was perfect, the legend was underway, and the Johnson Wax building would soon be built. <laughs> 